Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I am going to show you how to add a dynamic site title and tagline to a Divi Global header. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to add our site title and username. So to do that, we need to uh, come all, all the way down here to uh, settings and we need to click on general. So I'm going to click over here and then we're going to give our site a name. So right now it's just called ET, but we can call this DV site. And then over here we can add our tagline. So pretty much that's all we need to do. Now I can just scroll down all the way to the bottom here and save. Another way to do this is to head over to your template. So I'm going to come over here, look for appearance, click on customize. So when we take a look here, we also get access to our general settings. So if I click over here, we can click on site identity and you can see here now it has DV website and then here it says one site to rule them all, which is the same information that I entered earlier on. So that is how you add it. Now it's time to go in and set our template. So the template we're going to need is here on this URL, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So when you get to this post, you want to scroll down until you find this area, which says download the files. But if you are seeing this, it could be that you first need to enter your email address. So you need to enter your email address first, and then you're going to see this download the files. And once you download it, it gets added onto your downloads folder. And in that downloads folder, what you need to do is to unzip it. So as you can see here, this is the file. I've double clicked it and unzipped it. So the next stage now, now that we've downloaded the files that we need, and this is our header template, what we need to do now is to go to our site and install this template. And to install it, I'm just going to click away from here. Make sure you're in your WordPress admin area, and then you need to scroll all the way down here and hover over Divi and then click on Theme Builder. So as you can see, this is blank and let me just show you what it looks like right now. So if I come over here, you can see that uh, there's no design added to this. So now we're going to add our template that we downloaded earlier. Okay, so I'm going to click here on these two arrows. This is portability. Next, you want to click on import. Okay, so now I need to drag my file that I downloaded earlier. So I'm just going to click here and drag it into position and make sure you're in the install tab. And then once you've done that, you want to click on import theme builder templates. Now, there's also another way to do it. You can just click here and this will open up the finder. And this is where you can find the file on your local computer. But I just prefer dragging and dropping it here. Next, I'm going to click import theme builder templates. So this now is going to import our template. So now that I've added it here, I'm going to click on save changes. And now if I come to my site and refresh, you can see now that we have our design now. So this is the title that I added earlier on and it's called DV website. And then if you recall, my tagline was one site to rule them all. So let's take a look and see where this information is on our template. So if I click on this pencil icon, this is now going to open the builder. So if you wanted to build this from scratch yourself, how you do it is let's first of all delete this. Click here on this plus button and the module that we need is a call to action. So I'm going to select it. So how we get this to work is we're going to scroll all the way down here and get rid of that background. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And now all we have is this main title and this description. So to use dynamic text, what you need to do is to come over here to text. And then over here, what you wanna do is to hover over here, okay? So once you hover over here, you click here on use dynamic content. And this now gives you all this information here. So what we need here is the site title. And now you can see as soon as I've clicked it, it's now showing Divi website. Next, we are going to come over here to this body text and then we're going to click here again. And uh, this time we want to go for the site tagline. There we go. So this information is being pulled from the text that we entered earlier on. Next, we can also add a dynamic link. So when someone clicks on that, it takes us to our homepage. So I'm going to click here on link and then here for button URL, I can just say dynamic link. So for that, I can just say a home link. So that's if you need to add a call to action to that. But to be honest, you know, it doesn't look nice with a button. So what I'm going to do next is I am going to now customize this text because right now this has the standard text that comes with Divi. So I'm going to come over here to the design tab. And then next I am going to head over here to my site 
title. In fact, I can just click here on this paintbrush tool. And right now, as you can see, we're on heading two. I can click on this drop down, and the font I need is Hebo. So I'm going to search for it and click on it. Next, over here on the font weight, I'm going to set this to bold and all caps. The size here needs to be 32. Next, let's move on to the letter spacing. And I just need a little bit of uh, spacing between my letters here. So I am going to set it to 0 0.3 EM. Next, I am going to now work on my text here on the bottom. So I'm going to click on the brush tool one more time. And for the body font, this time I am going to search for Roboto. I'm selected. And this time the styling is Italist. Now let's move on to the size. And here we're going to set this to 13. Next, we're going to go to the letter spacing, set this to 0 0.1. And then for the line height, we're going to set this to 1 EM. So the next step now is to come over here to the advanced tab, custom CSS. And what we need to do here is to add some custom CSS for the padding bottom. And this needs to go on the promo description. So there we go. So now you can see we've just reduced that padding. So now that we've added this, I'm going to go ahead and save. Next, I need to go into the row settings. And here I just need to go into design, sizing, make sure equalized column height is set to yes and my width is set to 100%. Now, the most important thing here is just to make sure everything is aligned pro correctly. So I'm going to come over here to custom CSS and make sure you add your CSS code, which is align items center. So now I'm going to go ahead and save. Now, let's say you want to change the color of uh, this button here. So all you need to do is to click on this module settings. And then first of all, you want to make sure that your link is obviously going to a specific page by adding a URL. So what I've done here is I've just added a blank one. Next, I'm going to come over here to design button and you can change the button color here. So I can just play around with my colors like that. So this is the button text. And then over here we have the button background. So I can set it to whatever color I want. So I'm going to go with that orange. So next I'm going to go ahead and save. And now we also have this logo. So I'm going to click here and uh, I'll show you how to change the site logo. So I'm going to click here and I can choose any logo that I need to add here on my site. But if you already have your logo set on your site, you can just click here on this dynamic tool and then you can just look for site logo. So this becomes your dynamic link. So this will just pull your logo from when you've edit it on your site. So pretty much that's all we need to do. I'm going to go ahead now and save and I am going to save this one more time. Now over here, this is your menu. So make sure that you select the right uh, menu here. So your pages will show. Okay. So now that all that is done, I'm just going to come over here to this site. We do, we're going to do a quick refresh and see if this color here changes. So I'm going to refresh this. And there you go. So now we have an orange button and this is now our text, which has been dynamically added. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.